what's up guys welcome back to my channel so guys tonight two housemates actually evicted the big brother ninja house and it's the housemates that are no other person than eric and tochi see eh, i don't feel anything for eric leaving but you see tochi i actually feel bad for him i don't know why i was beginning to like him you know because of how he talks and all that i really really in fact tochi is the first housemate that has left this season that has really made me feel some type of way you understand and that's just it anyway if you see my face for the very first time hello there my name is vicky please consider to hit on the red subscribe button subscribing to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video so guys today was eviction night like i told you guys earlier and two housemates have been evicted and it's remaining 16 housemates in the big brother ninja house you understand the housemate did what they did last week by voting for housemates yeah. the ones that came back with the lowest votes which are tricky t kaisha eric and um, tochi and then the house actually voted tochi and eric to actually leave the house like they normally do but that's not the gist i brought to you guys tonight i just said i should just get that out of the way before i go straight into the gist of the night like guys actually ebuka shook some tables today because ebuka asked ebuka spoke to ozo about his relationship with nengi and dorothy and is there like sort of a triangle going on there ozo was like no there is no triangle going on but he now asked dorothy about the conversation she had with i think katrina and lucy that she was telling them that she had feelings which dorothy actually denied you understand dorothy said she can't remember having such conversation but the only thing she can remember saying was that Ozo was a cute guy and she said that to Lucy you understand she stood by her by her words saying she never said that she had feelings for Ozo and Ibuka also insisted that he heard that that she had a conversation with um, the housemates and she said she actually had feelings for Ozo you get and then she was like she is just a friend to us and people can now ask um, um Brito that does he feel what Dorothy is saying is the truth Brito said no that he doesn't feel that that is the truth because he just feel like there's some sort of triangle going on that's between us Nengi and Dorothy and then the whole house was somehow well for we that are watching it to me sometimes I feel like Dorothy is so protective to a point that it just feels as if she has feelings because yes you are friends and sometimes when you send something bad or when you send somebody is not interested in your friend you want to protect them but at some point you just allow them be you just let them be and not because she's always coming off like wanting us to choose between she and Nengi which is always which is which i don't see that to be the moves of somebody who claims to just be friends it might just be me but i also see it from the angle of brighto you get because he's already looking as if it's a triangle it's not just a friend and a friend looking for a way to to have a girlfriend i don't think that is the case but whatever it is we are still watching them we'll still know what will happen so if people can now ask um um, Erica about the triangle going on between him, herself and um, Kid Wire and Lacon and she was like she has really spoken to the both of them especially Lacon she has actually told Lacon that she cannot have anything to do with him that she is just because Ibuka said that he has never in his life heard um, the word mentally and physical attraction as much as he has heard from Erica's mouth since this season you get and I'm like that's true because Erica is always coming up with this mentally and um, physically attraction mental attraction or oh, when if you're not attracted you're not attracted you don't want to date the person I feel for once I've said it in my video severally you just stand by it and like guy I cannot date you let us leave it as friends and if we can't be friends and you feel like your emotions will not let let you be friends with me then let's just give ourselves space you understand because people can ask her she was like that's the case and then was not asking what is she having with kid wire she said that she kid wire is her her friend her bestie kind of you get and then kid wire um Ebuka now spoke to kid wire that what, what does he feel for um erica he said he's not feeling anything that like she said they are just friends but she said um, she's definitely a good friend and i enjoy her company and yeah. Yeah. Gonna ask him, is it that he's feeling anything for Erica? He said no, that he can't say he's feeling anything or not at the moment, but they are just friends. And I'm like, all right, 
friends that finger each other like friends with benefits i guess because at this point both of them are denying having feelings for each other but erica actually confessed having feeling for um kid wire when she was drunk and you know when people are drunk they tend to say the truth a lot a lot a lot so i don't want to well i don't know if i should believe that erica actually had feelings for kid wire or she was just drunk 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 and let's leave it at that Ebuka spoke to Lekon and Lekon was like okay she is actually going to ask um, Erica for space that he has asked Erica for space and then Ebuka was like are you sure that is actually going to work he said he's going to try but the truth of the matter is like I've said I said in my previous video that what Lekon actually need at this point is space there's no need you always coming out because Erica because Ebuka already told Erica and that's the truth it just feels like truly that what he's saying has just been what I've been saying Erica has been acting like she wants to eat her cake and have it you understand she wants to keep lake on she wants to keep kid wire you understand and it's not going to be possible you have to let one go which is the conversation they later had much after the whole um eviction show you get i don't i don't feel like erica is doing lake on any good there's no need for all this are you okay let's be friends let's sit down let's talk let's hug you're still teasing him it's as if you are just giving him green light and that is what has been going on. in fact that is what Ebuka even said so i feel for one that hey like Erica should just since he has she has chosen Kid Wire, which we understand why, she should just stick to Kid Wire and give Lekon a space. Even if they still have to be friends, I feel like she should give him space so that he can heal and come back to himself. Because at this point, Lekon don't match it out of love. Our one time Aristotle is now a vegetable in the house in the house because and as actually said, seriously, I don't find the whole thing even in fact the whole thing is becoming irritating to me, it's becoming annoying the way they keep sitting down back and forth talking about it. Well, they've come to the conclusion that he needs space. And Erica was like, eh, Are you sure? If I say something wrong with you, was just doing somehow that was just pissing me off a bag. But I hope the the conclusion they have come to they actually actually stick to it. So, guys, back to the main gist, like guys there was a bus boost there was a bus boost in the house this night like there was a serious clash immediately after the eviction show guys like seriously immediately after i don't know i think lucy went to go and ease herself they went on break and then when they come back from break which coyote is always going on break at the wrongest time since the beginning of this program i don't know what is wrong with coyote you get Immediately they came back, we saw them yelling, they were talking, talking, talking. Well, from the gist we got from the whole yelling and the whole um, exchange of words and all that, it seems like Lucy went into the toilet to pee. And then when she came out, she actually asked and was, was maybe soliloquizing to herself, talking to herself that why do they always bring Dorothy into the middle of their conversation, making the girl look bad or what, 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 what. And then Nengi heard it, Nengi just had to knock on the door like, are you talk, talking to me? Are you referring to me? She just exploded, they now started, you know, exchanging words. Nengi was abusing um, her old cargo. She, she was abusing Nengi that ben Nengi does not know anything. Nengi does not have anything to offer. That Nengi is just beautiful, changing man every week or every three, three days or whatever she said. Let me just leave you guys to watch it. At your age! Been like the bus bus was just here because one in fact lucy actually had to put um also in, in the middle she was like why the whole thing escalated was because also came to tell her it's okay that she should not they should stop you get and she was like no that also is even the cause of this thing also is even the one being used by nengi and she's not he's not seeing it and happy his friend dorothy is trying to talk sense into him and he's not understanding like he was she was she was, she was even trying to just shut turn the whole table around and try to tell us that also you are really fucking up in fact at this point then eh, you're the cause of my anger you get and i'm like like, madam it is none of your business this whole thing is a game and i feel like lucy is even blowing it out of proportion it's, she's always on nengi's case she has been talking like gossiping nengi she and dorothy they've always been talking about nengi every time they sit one way or the other they will talk about nengi she was just abusing nengi that nengi is walking naked and i'm like madam 
it is not your naked it is not your bonbon -bon. leave her to be who she is you get you don't have to come and start judging you are playing your game the best way you can Nengi can just be a flirtatious person naturally and that's she being she as she came into the house just like kid wire is who he is in the house you get so don't just make it look as if your lifestyle is is the perfect one you get she was like and Nengi does not know anything and uh, that Nengi should bring her result and i'm like is it by result if it's by result my dear a lot of people a lot of people will be millionaires if it's by who even goes to school or who even savvy because at this point this country does not even care whether you came out with the first class or you came out with the best graduating student it doesn't care when it wants wants to fuck you up it's gonna mess you up big time so i don't see the reason why lucy is always getting herself involved in um nengi's issue i think because she's she's friends with dorothy and the whole thing has actually really eating her up you get i don't know if i should call it jealousy i don't know if i should call it envy because at the end of the day also actually called a meeting after the whole hula baloo the whole drama the whole saga in the house also, also called a meeting trying to address it that he actually has um dorothy is his favorite person yes but he still has feelings for nengi in fact his feeling even is even stronger than when they actually came do you understand and then the, everybody should respect that one thing i'll have to say is that you see and when it comes to guys having issues they can just sort themselves out so easily but you see we ladies Scoy scoy they always do us somehow like we like to gossip ourselves we like to pull ourselves down like we 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 confronting ourselves with like trash issues out is not our thing we always want to beef carry grudges and then just the slightest mistake and then we snap and that is just it so basically they spoke about it and then um lucy sha apologized that she's sorry that she actually fled up blah 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 blah, blah because it was it was a heated one in the house today guys you don't even want to we don't even want to deal seriously because they said all things. The only thing uh, Nengi was always abusing Lucy because she's a old cargo and Weber. Lucy was just finishing her and talking a lot of things about her that she has been changing men. She's this, she does not have brain, she does not do this. And I'm like, guys, you guys should pick your hustle. At the end of the day, this thing is a game and the best player will win. No matter whether you play it by your knowledge or you play it by anyhow you know how to play it, the facts still remain that it is the best player that will actually win. So let's see how far your own strategy or it's going to work out for you so that was it and then um also and nengi had a conversation after the whole thing nengi was just telling us that she pleased because also was actually trying to stop her from talking when she was angry you get and she was like she does not like it allow her me to air my um anger you get because i you, you just feel as if you're bottling me up you're caging me you're trying to hold me down in one place and people are really pissing me off you get also was just trying to tell her to actually try to control herself when things like that actually come up you get and that's just basically easy so that's just what actually went down this night the bus boats that actually happened i hope i really told you guys everything that happened okay yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and please do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video i'll see you guys in my next video